The first gene infusion therapy of its kind at the state was performed on a five-year-old boy at Riley Hospital for Children. As WRTV's Caitlin Kendall reports, his family says it's given them hope and given their son a new lease on life. Meet five, soon to be six year old Paul Jr. You wouldn't know it, but this spunky kid has Duchenne muscular dystrophy or DMD, a genetic disorder that causes muscle cells to fall apart. Going from my kid walks on his tiptoes and has some coordination problems to this kid, this is a life altering disorder. Without treatment, the life expectancy of a patient with DMD is late teens to early 20s. With the current steroid treatment, it can be into their 30s. But most kids stop walking around 10 years old. This is one of those diseases that we've always just had to manage, you know, and, and help uh, families through, and we always knew the course. But a new kind of therapy approved by the FDA in June could change all of that. This uh, drug, this treatment, gives us a chance to alter that course and, and hopefully for a good way for a long time. A gene therapy that helps stabilize the muscles and Riley's the first hospital in the state to do it. If your finger gets tired, just tell me, okay, and we can put it on a new finger. And Paul Jr. is that first patient. Thank you so much. Okay. Like a plug in? Yeah, remember I got to get it super clean. The treatment calls for Paul to be hooked up to an IV then? drip. The hope that there is with this new genetic therapy is amazing. We hope for the best now. It's giving hope to Paul's family. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you have a kid, you think of all the things they're going to do in their future and all the stuff they like and get to pursue. The treatment will hopefully allow Paul to live longer and have more function in his muscles. In Indianapolis, Caitlin Kendall, WRTV. Mm, well, the long-term impact of the treatment is still unclear, but doctors are hopeful it will give patients a longer life and one that isn't so debilitating.